Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is, man. So today we're gonna be doing a reaction to Dax's Richmond North of Richmond remix. So we'll be back. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we back, man. When we get into the video, we almost at 9,000 subscribers. Thank y'all again. It's been a long journey. Still got some work to do. Merch store is coming. So be on the lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, more content is coming. We're going to start doing more lives, too. So we're trying to shoot for at least every Saturday night, probably. Or every Saturday evening, we're going to be trying to do lives. So, be on the lookout. All right, man. So, let's get into it. Dax, Richmond, North of Richmond. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new. This world has changed and I had to accept it. They ask my political views while I search for their hidden agendas. I don't got an answer, I try to remember the devil divides. Pressure appears from our peers. Those arguments waste our time while helping to push their lies. So fuck political views. I got common sense. I know God made man, and the sun sets on a life where we focus on things that we cannot control and accumulate so much regret. By the time we decide to live, we're practically already dead. So I go to sleep with the thoughts of 45. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't want to interrupt him, man, but I had to. This is great. That was great, man. Yeah. Oh man, I want to interrupt the brother, man, but I had to, man. That was that was. Come on, I'm gonna run that back a little bit. Let's go. Had to accept it. They ask my political views while I search for their hidden agendas. I don't got an answer. I try to remember the devil divides. Pressure appears from our peers. Those arguments waste our time while helping to push their lies. So fuck political views. I got cut. That part right there, where he said, basically talking about his friends. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yo, I'm going through the same situation with my friends because of my political views. Like instead of us having a conversation, I'll talk about it afterwards. Let's 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 keep it going. Sense. I know God made man and the sun sets on a life where we focus on things that we cannot control and accumulate so much regret. By the time we decide to live, we're practically already dead. So I go to sleep with the thoughts of 45 years living in debt, 45 years can't pay rent, 45 years just for a pension. I'm too old to enjoy and go spend 45 years working and slaving for rich men with no time for my family and friends. Then I wake up and pray that it ends. That last part, man, mm. I guess he's 45. And he's basically saying, like, you know, these 45 years of this and everybody else is like these these rich men, they cool with us being poor. They cool with me being the situation I'm in. I wake up and I pray that things that change, but it's not. This, this, you got something to add to that? Or you want to just keep going? I'm gonna I'm say a lot, man. Um, after after let him let him let him talk, man, because I'm yeah. analyzing. With an old soul, the rich men know the rich men. Lord knows they all just wanna have total control. Descendants of Adam and Eve, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. They're taking God out the schools. Our kids don't know what to believe. From six to eighteen, the curriculum fails, and Gen Z gets taught by their phones with forced feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies. That's how they attack us. It starts with the youth. If you lie and over that, yo, this, yo, this second verse is bananas. Yeah. What? Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I'm sorry, people. I gotta go back. He's he he he. 
He's spitting right now. Descendants of Adam and Eve. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. They're taking God out the schools. Our kids don't know what to believe. From 6 to 18, the curriculum fails and Gen Z gets taught by their phones with forced feeds that get sponsored and paid by companies. That's how they attack us. It starts with the youth. If you lie enough, you'll convince anybody the lies, the truth. So telling these kids they can choose their own gender at ages they can't even tie their own shoes. Drive or drink is crazy. Common sense isn't common unless it pays me. That's the thought process daily. Look at the content. We're creating lies, diluting our brains. I'm done trying to argue online with these people who think that a vote's gonna bring about change. How many presidents does it take? To have a life worth living, an actual comfortable wage, no more school shootings, let's unite these states. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me and people like you. Wish I could just, just wake up, up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. Rich men north the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Hmm. Woo. That right. last verse may be probably my top five verse of the year. It's in my top five. That last verse was crazy. That last verse, he said a lot in that last verse, and I think that people are uncomfortable with having that conversation and I don't want to go into it because I don't want anything to happen to this channel. So I'm just going to say that that was, that was some good shit there, man. I appreciate people like him because he's not afraid as a black man. He's not afraid to bring togetherness and get, you know, eradicate this whole theory of white supremacy and, and, uh, you know, the uh the racism that's going on in this country from people who are pushing it as an agenda for them to make money off of not not to say that it's not happening or it doesn't happen or it never happened because of course we all know it exists but at this point what can you really say can you really do you know what i'm saying like people just want to hold on to something especially like a lot of older people who came from that they still feel like they living under this this tyranny and they're not and they know it because most of them that talk about they're millionaires and it's like you saying that we living in this tyrannical government who people don't care and this and that but you are a millionaire dog. you know what i'm saying so i'm just saying i really appreciate this certified 12 man this is great I think he should yeah. do I think he should do another song with uh Oliver Anthony. I think I think Oliver Anthony, Tom McDonald, Dax, and uh Adam should do a song together. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that would that would be dope. Um to piggyback off of what you just said, man, um man. He said some sharp words within these verses, man. Yes, he had some sharp words, man. And for those who can't take it, they got sensitive ears. I know it cut skin deep. I know it cut real deep. Um, he ain't lying. That's for sure. He ain't lying. He ain't telling. He's telling no lies, and uh, and everything he's saying, you know. You know what I mean? They they they're okay with with our folk being where they at. They're okay with that because the minute the minute our kind, our folks, our people unite and they start trampling over all the uh, biasness and BS that goes on in the world, right? They start getting scared. That's why they want to like you know they want to censor our behaviors, you know what I'm saying? They want to censor our voice, you know, but um, platforms like this, you know, when it comes to music, we said it before, music, you can't censor everything when it comes to music. You can't, because behold, you know what I mean? People are going to find their way 
to uh, express how they feel. And he's doing that right now. Him, Tom McDonald, Oliver Anthony, Adam Calhoun, all of them, they're all expressing how they feel. Shout out to Dax, by the way, because he did comment on one of our reaction videos. And we still got the invitation out there for you, brother, to come on the show. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, Certified 12. Yeah. Hey, man. Catch Bad Podcast. See ya. We out of here. Dax, Oliver, Anthony. Rick, Rick, Rick. <laughs>